Hello. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Welcome everyone to our fourth webinar from the Configurable Business Documents in Electronic Reporting series. The first three webinars were held by my teammate Albin, who set a foundation for this, the last in the series webinar. If you haven't already done so, I invite you to watch these webinars sometime later. I will remind you really quickly about their content. In our first webinar, we presented the electronic reporting basics through simple example. We demonstrated creating an XML payment format that can be used for electronic bank payments to the vendor. During the second webinar, we introduced configurable business documents. We imported Microsoft provided configuration for free text invoice and started customizing it. We added one custom field to data model and data model mapping. Yay! In the third webinar, we finished the necessary steps on free text invoice. We modified the Excel template by adding this new field to it. Those among you who are familiar with our product know that every new version of the Centric AX for D365 brings many improvements to standard D365 document generation and distribution. By following that mission, we merged the best of the two worlds, flexible electronic reporting data source modeling capabilities on the one hand, and the user-friendly, time-saving, docentric designer and improved print destinations on the other. In this way, we deliver the docentric enhanced configurable business documents to you and that is the main topic of today's webinar. As our introduction image suggests, it is extremely powerful solution, and I hope that this webinar will help you recognize that power. We discussed this slide during the third webinar, but let's repeat. We confirmed that electronic reporting brings some great improvements, which empower the functional consultants and very advanced end users to customize the reports. They have every right to be enthusiastic about that, but as we will soon see, configurable business documents also have many deficiencies. Last time, we already gave you a heads up that the Centric solves the above mentioned deficiencies and brings many improvements. Now we want to prove these statements through examples. And we hope that the information presented and examples demonstrated today will enable you to make informed decision about the optimal solution for your reporting needs. Let's quickly see what agenda I have prepared for today. We will start by listing the options you have if you need to customize your documents and we'll discuss when to apply them. So far, you had SSRS and eventually you were using the centric free or full version. By bringing electronic reporting and configurable business documents into the picture, we have more possibilities and that may be confusing. That's why we want to clarify this. We will see Microsoft provided purchase order format and the centric replica of this format. For those of you who are not the centric users and are not familiar with our expression replica, by that we mean that we have provided exactly the same format as the one provided by Microsoft. We did that for many SSRS reports and we call them the centric SSRS replicas. And now we started doing the same for CBD designs, therefore we will call them the centric CBD replicas. We will in this point demonstrate the experience and results when printing the purchase orders CBD through electronic reporting email destination and the centric CBD replica through the centric improved email destination. We will compare the features and user experience of Microsoft Excel as a CBD template designer and the centric designer. We will list CBD template designer options and compare them among themselves and versus the centric designer. By that, we will justify why we selected Microsoft Excel as a to-go template designer for CBDs and we'll further compare it with the Centric Designer. This was partly done during the previous webinar, but we will elaborate on this further, again with the objective to present you the whole picture. 
As it is common, we will make a review of the presented material and will announce the next steps. I invite you to send me questions or opinions in your chat window during the webinar so that we can discuss them during a Q&A session. We should be finished in about 1 hour and 15 minutes, plus what it takes to answer your questions. Let's start with the first item in our agenda, which configurations we have available now and when would you want to use each of them.